So once the data are collected and they're harmonized, we've done data cleansing procedures, the thing to do prior to model development is manual coding of the subset. I asked Nolan to tell us about how we go about doing a manual coding of a subset of the data in preparation for model development. Yeah, so the individual coding was based on opinion phrases. And the, um, the program that we ran was a, a macro that using those periods that we would identify as the, um, the end of an opinion phrase would take a larger section of text and split that into the individual opinion phrases that we were going to use uh, in the model. So when that was completed, we would review those individual opinion phrases, which I think we had around 6,000 in total. And we identified a subset that we were going to use as training uh, data for the model. And the activity that we would do for each one of those opinion phrases was to read the, the opinion phrase, review it, and code it as either um, a positive, negative, or neutral. And this would allow us to have the human coding for each one of those opinion phrases that we could then use to train our model and refine the, the data dictionary and the, um, the, uh, the basically the lexicon that we were using in that model so that the computer could identify whether it was neutral, positive, or negative. You know, during that activity, we identified a, a training set of about 10% of those responses, so about 600 responses that we coded for the use as a training set, and then a, a holdback or a holdout sample that we also used um, as a validation step to make sure that we were not overfitting the model um, by specifically customizing it to those 600 uh, individual opinion phrases. So this was a, a lot of the manual activity that had to go into this process of splitting out those opinion phrases and then coding those as either negative, neutral, or positive based on a human assessment of those uh, individual opinion phrases.